equation. Okay, here we have the generator and we have a capacitor. You know, this particular capacitor uh, just consists of a metal case. There's some stuff inside here and I'm not going to explain exactly what we've got at this point, but uh, we'll see later. And there are two posts. You see two posts coming up out of the capacitor. If we hook the circuit up and so that the current goes through the generator, through the capacitor, that is into one post and out the other, that'll take it through the capacitor. Uh, then your first procedure is simply to crank the uh, handle at a constant rate and see what happens. So we just crank at a constant rate. Now, there's a program called beeps that is not written in as part of this procedure. However, um, if you have trouble keeping the cranking at a constant rate, you can certainly uh, use the program beeps if you wish. That'll help you. It's fairly self-explanatory, not difficult at all. Now you'll find that something has happened to the capacitor and to make it unhappen before you use the capacitor again, you want to take two leads and just connect them directly across these posts. Okay? And leave them there for about 10 seconds. And we'll take them off. Now, here's something else we can do. We could connect the capacitor in series with a light bulb. Okay, to do that, well, let's just do it in order here. We want the electricity or the current to come through one lead from the generator, through the capacitor, and out the other, into this wire, then into the bulb, and then back to the generator. So we'll just hook the other generator clip here so that the current passes through the bulb. And then we can crank Again, we want to crank at a constant rate and see what happens and see how things feel. Uh, then, of course, we discharge the capacitor. That's what we're doing here, connecting the two leads across the capacitor. Uh, now, that was a series circuit where the current has to go through the capacitor, then through the bulb in order to get back through the generator. We could also have connected uh, a parallel circuit by allowing the, well, connecting the leads first to the capacitor and then giving the current an alternative path uh, from this post through the bulb and back. Okay, and we can see what happens here as we crank at a steady rate. Now, that's not really part of the procedure, but it only takes a couple of minutes to do, and I would recommend that you do it and think about what happens because you gain some insight into what a capacitor does.